Welcome to my course for beginners where I teach you how to draw in bite-sized lessons. Today I'm going to show you how to draw using scumbling. So scumbling is a really fun technique that you can use to create lots of texture in your drawings. This is lesson number 13 in the course. So if you want to get to the start of the course, I'm going to leave a link up here for you. Let's get going. What is scumbling? Scumbling is a specific set of techniques that fall under the scribble drawing category because you are drawing using scribbles instead of shadings. In the next lesson, we'll look at scribbling itself. Why would you want to scumble instead of shade? Shading gives you the appearance of a smooth surface, but often you will need to draw textures like the dreadlocks on the sheep, trees and bushes, cobbled roads, and even suggest complicated designs like the stained glass in this cathedral. None of these can be captured using shading, but all of them can be captured using scumbling. There are three basic scumbling techniques. The first is to draw using continuous circles. The more you go over an area, the more you cover up the paper, the darker the area becomes. To further control the tonal value and texture you get, you can also vary the size of your circles. The smaller your circles, the darker the area will appear. For a light area, you can use less and larger circles. In general, when scumbling, I tend to use one of my dark pencils like an 8B. But you can also change to harder pencils if you need to get a busy texture without going too dark. By the same token, you can also vary the pressure on your pencil to further control the tonal value. And while we're on the subject of pencils, you want a sharp pencil while drawing. So use a round point pencil to draw with and sharpen it regularly to ensure that it doesn't round off too much. What I also do while drawing is constantly turn my pencil in my hand as I draw to automatically sharpen the pencil as I go. Then of course using a mechanical or a clutch pencil works perfectly for scumbling because then you don't need to sharpen it. So using the circle technique is great for textures like cobbled roads and even these stained glass windows. The next technique is to use star shapes like this. Except you draw each star in one motion like this. Obviously you don't need to follow my exact pattern to draw a star. You use whatever pattern or sequence comes naturally to you. What is important is that you end up with these pointy edges because when you fill up an area using stars, it ends up looking like leaves. So using this technique will quickly allow you to draw bushes, trees and hedges. The next and my favorite scumbling technique is to use a continuous figure of eight motion like this. Don't try to get perfect figure of eights or anything like that. You want them to be spontaneous. As you draw and pick up speed, you'll find that your hand naturally forms its own figure of eight like scribble. And this is the motion that you want to draw with. It must flow off your hand naturally and fast. The figure of eight technique will allow you to draw a variety of textures, like a mass of flowers or the dreadlocks on the sheep. In the next module, we'll be putting this into practice by drawing the sheep. And I hope you'll join me there so you can practice your scumbling technique. I'll also leave a link here to the scribbling lesson so you can go and take a look at those techniques. If you have enjoyed this lesson, please like and subscribe so I can inform you when I release the next course module. I've also left a link to my website here where you can find hundreds of real-time draw and paint along lessons. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next lesson.